seems to me I heard years and years and years ago that the only thing that is constant is change. So you kind of turn that one on your head, on its head, in your uh, power principles when you say welcome change because it's that only constant we have. Talk about welcoming change. How do we welcome change? I think the term that I use is embrace change. Which That's is a good one too. It's like welcome on steroids. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it goes back to societal conditioning. What happens is you, you, the boss leaves a change on you. We're going to change. We're going this direction tomorrow, and it's cuz c u z cuz we're going to. You know, it, it's I, I get a lot of a lot of requests to do work on developing embracing change. What I call embracing change, and the piece of it is is what is the change? Why are we changing? Uh, it, without fail, I can look back through through three decades of, of professional work. And every change that I was required, whether I resisted it or embraced it, the final analysis, if I would have had my eyes wide open, I would have seen the opportunities that are afforded. Yeah. But you know, typically we hear change, we lock down, well, I've been doing this for 50 years, why should I change now? I mean, come on. And so it's, it's the, it is a constant that we're going to have. And it's going to continue to be a constant. I would just encourage the, the, the people viewing this and, and uh, the people that, that attend my presentations, there is a way to enhance change. And that is to say, bring it on, just embrace it. What can we do to turn this into an opportunity? And it, it, change is an opportunity. It's the only way we get where we are right now. Or we, we keep changing things that we're doing. Yeah, or we can dig our heels in and wear our boots out. It is, it's, it's one or the other. Yeah. So, yeah. Different way to look at it.